All right, so now that we've tested the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, now let's see how the iPad Pro performs with Warzone Mobile. Since I've already been using this iPad Pro for work, as you can see, I had to wait a few minutes to allow this device to properly cool before testing. And as usual, I am testing in 25 Celsius ambient temperature, will show real-time FPS during testing, and also test at max brightness. And on another note, before we dive into testing for reference, just like the iPhone, the iPad Pro here is rendering Warzone Mobile at a significantly higher resolution. As you can see, at low graphics, we are playing at roughly 1200p, which is slightly lower than the max graphics on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. However, at high graphics, we are playing at 1600p, which is, as of now, the highest resolution in Warzone Mobile. For reference, even the base PS4 is limited to only 1080p gaming. Nevertheless, with that being said, let's dive into testing.
All right, so now that we've finished testing, starting with temperature, we can see the iPad Pro peaking up to a brief 37 Celsius, which in fact, when considering the resolution, is very impressive. You can definitely play at least two matches back to back without experiencing any overheating. Now, with that being said, let's talk about FPS. And as expected, we're seeing 58 FPS average after eight minutes of testing, which is good, but still unstable due to the very high resolution. Moreover, I must admit, FPS does tend to drop even lower in multiplayer matches. I'll have to do a separate video for the multiplayer test. Last but not least, if we look at GPU usage, we can see the M2 is being maxed out at 1600p. GPU usage is essentially 100%. Henceforth, I don't really advise playing at 1600p for long durations, as it's never a good idea to stress the SOC to the max, like we are seeing here with Warzone Mobile and high graphics. If anything, playing at low graphics at 1200p not only achieves a higher 59.9 frames per second average, but also 1% lows are essentially 59 frames per second, GPU usage is also significantly lower, and temperature is below 35 Celsius. Low graphics is crucial for those of you wanting to play for long durations. Anyways, I hope this video was informative. Please stay tuned for my Galaxy S24 Ultra camera test and see you all next time.